Hello, uh, my name's Olivia, and I'm gonna do a uh, day in the life of being a vegan, because that seems interesting, right? You know, and and there are a lot of misconceptions about veganism, what it's like to be a vegan, so I thought I'd do a little video, um, show you, you know, my, just, just the general life, you know, so you kind of get an understanding, maybe it, it piques your interest, maybe it doesn't, I don't know. It's fully up to you. So first thing in the morning, I go about, you know, waking up excited to live a better day than everyone else because clearly I am superior to them. So first, you know, I go to make my breakfast and this is exciting because, you know, as a vegan, I, I love to harvest my food, you know, fresh and ready to go. So of course I do what most people do. You know, I go outside and harvest grass and ignoring their screams since apparently plants feel pain and just eat it. I eat the grass. I eat the f***ing grass. So after a very filling and nutritious meal, I go to uh, wash my face with dirt. Just dirt. That's that's the true way to cleanse your face to to get the the pH levels in balance. It's the only vegan option. So I you know I wash my face with the dirt, and uh, I don't want to steal the dirt from the worms because that's not the vegan thing to do. So then I rub I just rub my face in the ground, um, so the dirt stays the dirt stays where it belongs. Right after that, I am contractionally obligated to do yoga, or I lose my V card. Wait. I lose my vegan card, so of course I set about to do an intense strength building workout, but since I have absolutely zero protein in my system, I collapse from exhaustion almost immediately. So after my nice nap on my yoga mat, I set about to make lunch. I scour the refrigerator for some options, but suddenly notice the regular dairy milk for my parents. I stare at it, lusting, drooling. God, how I've missed you, sweet secretions from a cow's udder. But I snap myself out of it and hope that no vegans saw me so that they won't tackle me. I finally find some tofu and kale and prepare myself a meal of raw tofu and kale leaves. Just straight from the container. There's no sense in cooking it because it's disgusting and God, I miss bacon. All those people on Instagram comment saying LOL bacon though resonate in my foggy mind while I stuff my face with leaves and literal raw tofu. I didn't spend a solid two hours crying at my pets because I just love them so much. You know, honestly, this- if you haven't caught on, this is satire, but I really- I could cry. I love my cat so much. Even though he bit me! Yeah, I'm talking to you. So I go about getting ready for an evening out and I fix my hair and a clump falls out because obviously I am nutritionally deficient in everything. And I decide that it's probably best to stay home and keep myself safe in my fragile condition, but while going upstairs, I tripped and broke my entire leg. The entire thing. Every single bone. I was born with glass bones and paper skin. Every morning I break my legs. So I get on my computer and look for a movie to pass the time in this miserable life, but black out and resurface midway through a heated conversation about veganism with my Aunt Susan on Facebook. Aunt Susan insists that humans were designed to eat meat with our enormous canines. With our enormous canines, these... For comparison... You know, like that, obviously, same thing. And what I would do on a desert island with nothing but a chicken, which of course is the first time I have ever heard that in an argument. So I am completely stumped. Then she says she's never even seen a healthy vegan, but how could she say that when I am obviously the pinnacle of health? Then, of course, after a long productive day of saving animals, killing plants, and raging in online comments, I die of a protein deficiency. So that's a day in the life of being a vegan. Um, you only live 24 hours. From the, from the moment you decide to go vegan, you have about 24 hours to be vegan before you immediately die. Um, because it's impossible, right? It's, it's completely impossible. So I've been vegan for about a year and a half, which is shocking. I must be eating meat in my sleep because there's no way I could survive this long, right? Or am I, I guess I'm dead. Am I filming this while already dead? I feel dead. So I've been vegan for about a year and a half, and, you know, despite the fact that that is scientifically impossible for me to exist, I wanted to make this just because it's funny, just what people say, and, of, like, if you haven't caught on, some of that was maybe satire. It might, it might have been a little fake. But in all, in all seriousness, I guess, uh, I was gonna wait and do this video, you know, at like the two year mark, two year anniversary of, of making it, because I could still die at any moment, of course. And I decided to go ahead and make it now because I'm out of ideas and this is the only one I have. But in all honesty, it's not that hard and I'm not dead yet, um, but live fast.
die young, and eat vegan. If you're watching this video, you probably have one of two ideas about what veganism is. You think A, it is the worst possible decision a human could make, and that you will immediately die because if you don't get a single morsel of meat in your body within 24 hours, we will just collapse, just completely in utter oblivion. Or you think that it will cure literally everything. It will cure your Crohn's disease, your cancer, your IBS your allergies. It will make you lose a hundred pounds in a week. And that's just, none of that's true. Like, I didn't clear up my skin. My skin is still awful, but it's not worse. It is a little better. It didn't cause acne, but it definitely didn't cure it. Nothing can cure it. I am, I am doomed <laughs> to live like an adolescent boy for the rest of my life. It didn't cure it, it, really any of my ailments other than um, like, let's, let's be real, constipation, that's gone away, which is, my digestion, I feel, is a lot better, and energy levels, the same, I was tired all the time before I went vegan, and I'm tired all the time now, and it's because I'm constantly stressed, a burden of this life has nothing to do with my diet, and one day, maybe, I will get it corrected, but for now, I'm going to sit here as tense as possible, and wonder why I feel terrible. It, it's food, and yes, food can, can be thy medicine, isn't that like a quote? I don't know. Food is important, it's important to take care of your body, but if you eat healthy prior to going vegan, then it's like, okay, well then you're just not eating meat, cheese, or dairy. Cheese and dairy are the same thing? You're not eating meat, dairy, or eggs. Or so like anything that comes from an animal. So if you're already eating healthy, like it's not gonna really drastically change anything unless you're allergic to dairy and you cut that out, which like honestly, a lot of people are and they don't realize it, but uh... Will it radically change your life? No. Will it make a lot of people bother you with irritating questions that you've heard a thousand times? Yes. Do you suddenly feel an instinctive need to announce to the world that you are vegan? Not at all. If anything, I am embarrassed half the time to admit that I'm vegan. If anything, I hide it, I tuck it away, and I just, please, sir, may I have some beans? Can you please replace the beef with some beans? No, no, just, just that. That'll be all for me and my little self. So I try to avoid it, but it's other people who announce to the world that I'm vegan. Like, I was at a restaurant um, last year, and I know that I was ordering something, and all I was doing was asking that there be no cheese, and that the meat be replaced with beans. That's all I- it was a very simple thing. Didn't really require a whole lot of work on the, on the waitress's side. This was something I think I'd ordered in the past at this restaurant. Ordered something similar at previous restaurants. And the person across from me who was at my time- at the time, my friend, she announces to the waitress and to everyone in the restaurant, yeah, cause she's vegan. I just, oh my gosh, I just, ooh, ooh, oh, it hurt, it hurt my chest because a lot of times, like, waiters will be whatever with you, they're, they're fine with, but the minute, it's like the minute they hear vegan, they're like, this jerk, let's make sure there's some form of dairy or meat in their food, even though they specifically asked not to have that in their food. And then we'll spit in it. We'll spit right in it. If you invite me to your party and you say it's a cookout, I will either just not eat anything and just not say anything. Maybe people, people get really bothered when you're not eating. They're like, oh, why don't you want a hot dog or hamburger? I'm like, oh, no, I'm good. I ate before I came. Well, why would you eat before you came? You knew this was a cookout. Like, I just wanted to socialize. Why aren't you eating? Eat something. Eat the cold slaw. Eat the hot dog. Eat it. And you're like, oh, no, it's okay. Why won't you eat it? So if they insist constantly, then you finally have to vomit up, oh, I'm uh, vegan. <laughs> and it just makes people weird. And it's just leave... Leave me be. I'm okay. I'll take care of myself. Don't get worried about my state or my health. That's my job, which I'm not doing very well because I'm pretty sure I have a UTI and I'm not going to the doctor for it because I don't want to go through that. They ask me dumb questions like, what would you do on a desert island? If I'm on a desert island, they're like, desert island, there's a chicken there. It's one chicken. First, like, the, how is the chicken alive if there's no vegetation to eat because that's what chickens eat? And second of all, it's one chicken. That's not gonna make me survive more than like a couple weeks, 
right? I mean, chickens, you know, are, they're smaller than this. They're about this size, right? So that's enough food to, I could eat that in a day. And then, and then I still die on the island. So if you bite me one more time, I swear I'll punch you in the nose. Can you hear any of that? He's being so, just so weird. Stop. You little freak, quit. I rec- I had an interchange with my uncle at, an interchange, uh, an exchange with my uncle at Easter, I think. Was it Easter? I'd been vegan for like over a year and it just hadn't come up because I didn't tell anybody. I did not write tell anybody. I just made my own food and kept my mouth shut. So my uncle asked, why aren't you eating this thing? And I just didn't want to go through the whatever. So I said, I'm vegan. And his response, oh, okay. Well, there's chicken broth and our lima beans. So you might not want to eat those. And that was it. Nothing else. He didn't say anything else. I was, shock waves went through my body. The earth began to crumble underneath my feet. I could not believe. His response was, oh, okay. Well, there's chicken broth in our lima beans, so you might not want to eat those. If everyone responded that way, I could stop sweating constantly. So, on that note, uh, this, I don't know why I made this video. It's not informal. I'm not telling you how to go vegan. I'm not even telling you to go vegan. I just wanted to make this video because I am vegan and I thought it would be funny for my one vegan friend to watch this video and think it's funny because she can relate and literally no one else can. So, um, but hey, this is the internet and there's a lot of freaks on here. So, so if I didn't introduce myself, my name's Olivia. Uh, I don't matter on YouTube and you can subscribe if you want. That would be cool because maybe one day I will matter on YouTube. Um, but until then, I'll continue to make low budget, low quality content for your consumption. Bye. Look at this. He's a freak. Stop. Don't. Yes, I really ate the freaking grass. So like this video and subscribe, dang it. I earned it. Jeez. I'm